Hey everybody, Ray Diamond Suloyo back again with another video. Today we're reacting to another Diamond Studios video. Squatter steals home from family. Diamond's double feature. Let's get into this, guys. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Get off my property. Your property? This is my mother's house. Squatters normally are smarter than that, though. Like, why would, why would you go through the door and... Why would you just open the front door and... Not anymore. It's my house now. Get lost. Hey! Are you crazy? Huh? Oh, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Which one is the squatters, though? Which one's the squatters? Look, you have two minutes to get out of my house before I call the cops. Go right ahead and call. <laughs> Fine. You want to go to jail? Fine by me. Can you believe this? So the house is supposed to be empty. Officers, you have to help. There's a squatter living in my house and he refuses to leave. Do you live here? Not yet. My mother left it to me after she passed. Can you show any proof that you own the home, sir? <sighs> Not on me, but I mean, we just left the estate lawyer's office. Okay, we'll handle this. Thank you. Oh, thank goodness you're here, officers. These people just showed up claiming they owned this house, but it's mine. They're nuts. What the heck? Can you prove that? I sure can. Look, what he got that bills. <sighs> thank you, sir. Sorry to have bothered you with this. What? Wait a minute, what are you doing? What are you doing? Arrest him. Sir. Let's keep calm. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave this man's property. But it's not his property, it's mine. I grew up in this house. And that being that he doesn't have papers showing that he owns the house, they can't really do anything. Maybe, but according to the state of California, this man has rights too. Those bills show that he's been living here for at least three months. That's because my mother was in a hospice. Oh my. <laughs> maybe so, but legally there's nothing we can do. All right, maybe there's nothing that you can do, but I am not gonna let some squatter steal my mother's house. Sir, Damn, that's Dad. enough! Please, let's just go! Why are you arresting me when he's the criminal? I warned you. Okay, you so let me get this straight. Instead of arresting the man who stole my house, you protect him and arrest me. <laughs> it's lunacy. We agree with you. It's not right, but we have to follow the law, and you have to be smart about how you try to fight this. If you go back barging into the house, <clears throat> you're just gonna end up back here behind bars. That's what he wants. But what am I supposed to do? Get a lawyer. A good one. A good one. They, Cause they, they just gotta follow procedure, you know, and the fact that you were like barging at him and trying to get in the house, you know? I mean, you go, you go to jail for that. You know, they got to follow the rules, what they do. Thanks for picking me up. So how much bail costs us? 800. It's almost everything that we had left after paying for the funeral. Excuse me, sir. Can you spare some change? I'm sorry, man. We're going through tough times, too. I understand. I'm just trying to get some bus fare to go see my daughter. What are you doing? You just said we have almost no money left. Look, I know. But as a dad with a daughter, I can't imagine how I would feel if I couldn't see you. And the one thing that your grandma taught me, whenever you can help someone, do it. Because it'll always come back to you. Hey, bud. Go see your daughter. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Got it, man. So, what are we going to do now? about the house. We're gonna get ourselves a lawyer. Get your grandma's house back. But with what money? Don't worry about it, okay, sweetheart? I'm afraid this sort of thing is happening more and more. Unfortunately, squatters have found ways to make the system work for them. And it's, it's a real nightmare. So what does that mean for our case? It means it's going to be a very lengthy and expensive process. 
How expensive? Mm. Conservatively, you're looking at around three and a half months to a year just to get this in front of a judge. And that'll run you in the neighborhood of $80,000 in legal fees alone. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. You know, my mother loved that house, and I love that house, and I'm not going to let someone just take that away from us. Then I'll get started. I can't afford 80000 I'll handle it. Just trust me. With the collateral you have available, we can offer you a loan of $50,000. Dad, are you sure about this? Like, we don't even know if the lawyer can get the guy out of the house. But what other choice do I have? You can get rid of the house, can't you? Sweetie, I can't do that. I can't. get rid of the house is Determined to get his mother's house back and his loan secured, Mark got to work. The first step was to serve the squatter with a formal eviction notice. Eviction notice. But the squatter knew just how to work the system by refusing. Hey, okay, he a smart squatter, man. Using to show up to his court appearances, the judge was forced to delay the proceedings. Wow. The squatter knew the longer he could draw the case out, the more expensive it would become for Mark, and sooner or later that Mark would run out of money. Wow. Then but he figured Mark, if Mark runs out of money, he'll stop, and then it'll be good. Mark was determined not to quit. He took out another loan to keep fighting, going deeper into debt. Dang. Mom. When the squatter finally did show up to court, he filed a motion to delay the proceedings even longer, putting Mark in serious financial hardship. He's smart. It's got, it got to be a way to get over him, bro. You can't keep doing this to yourself, Dad. It's killing you. I don't know, maybe it's time to give up. Give up? Yeah. Um, it's just a house. It's more than just a house to me. That's the house that I learned how to walk. I grew up in that house. <laughs> I met your mom on the front lawn when she moved in next door. Aww. That house means more to me than just money. And it meant a whole lot more to your grandmother than you will ever know. She worked her whole life to pay off that house after my dad died. She sacrificed everything. And it wasn't for herself. It was for me. She did it for us. What do you mean for us? She wanted to leave the house to me. And then she wanted me to leave the house to you someday. Aww. That's all she ever dreamed of. That house is the only thing that we have left for her. It's a monument of her life. And I will not let some criminal take that away from us. I just owe her that much, at least. Wow. So, uh, my, my wife and I, we went on a cruise for a week. It was just a week. That was long enough for us to lose our house. When we got back, we learned that squatters had taken over our house. When we went to the police, they, they said they couldn't do anything about it. It's been, it's been three years of court battles. We're still so here. people could really, squatters could just really could come out of nowhere and just take over your house, dude? Like, that's crazy. Any closer to getting our house back. Now I'm, I'm broke, man. We're living in a motel. I don't, I don't know what we're gonna do. Wow. <clears throat> okay, so um, until today, I had never seen my father cry. 
Um, he's always just so upbeat and so happy. And he seriously is the best dad ever. But that was before the squatter. You see, while my grandmother was dying in hospice, some squatter just moved into her house and took it over. Here. And it has been a nightmare since then. That house was the last thing my grandmother wanted to give my father, and someone just took it. And my dad is not one to give up. And he's taken out multiple loans, but the legal fees have nearly bankrupted us. The cops won't help. The banks move too slow. So we're just stuck. And it's killing him. And I hate to see him hurting like this, but I don't know how to help. So if anyone out there has any advice, please contact me um, and help me save our family home before it's too late. <sighs> hey, I thought you were going to meet with the lawyers today. Uh, I was. Look, I decided to just let the house go. Dang, man. Can't live like this anymore. And it's so expensive and it's so stressful. Like you said, it's just a house. But I feel like that, whatever she posted on TikTok is gonna help though. Um, well, do you wanna take one last drive by it to say goodbye? I like that. Oh, there they are. Look. Tell us how you feel. I, I, I don't know what's going on. Your daughter's TikTok video on the squatter, it went viral. What? Turns out the squatter's name is Jake Sullivan. He's been ruining people's lives for a long time now. Internet sleuths were able to find out where the house was based on your video and a picture. And they've been camped out ever since. Oh, I hear someone coming. Hey. There he is. Why do you do it? What if you say for yourself? Uh, How many houses have you been squatting in? Why do you do it? Where are you going next? Never underestimate the power of social media, guys. Is that even your car? Is that even no. your car? <laughs> so it's over. The house is ours? Yeah. Guys like that, they hate publicity. It ruins their business. And once your TikTok went viral, it's just a matter of time. But that is just the beginning of the good news. The people rallied around your story and raised over $500,000 wow. to help you with your debt for fighting for your house. For their wow. House. I mean, that's way more than I owe. I think I know what we can do with the extra money. Give it to that guy. Or they'll live in a hotel. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Well, actually, it was my daughter's idea. Uh, yeah, my father and I started this foundation to help people who are dealing with squatters. I mean, we know how hard it is to fight it alone, so we're here to help. Thank you. Thank you so much. I just, I don't know how I'm gonna repay you. Uh, th there's really no need. I believe the universe will. Because, you know, whenever you help someone, it'll always come back to you. <laughs> Thank you. Your grandmother would be so proud of you. But you promised to get me a new MacBook Pro. I know, sweetie, and we will. But now is not the right time. The deal was that if I got straight A's this semester, you'd buy me a new laptop and I- What the heck? This is two videos and one or something? I did. Now it's your turn to live up to your promise. Jenna, we are very, very proud of the work you've done. But... But nothing! You're breaking 
breaking your word again! Well, that's not fair. We aren't saying no. We're just asking for some patience. I am so sick of you lying to me! Get out! Get out of Janet, my room! We're not lying to you, sweetie. If you would just give us a moment to explain. We've seen this already. If you would just let us... I reacted to this one. Sick of them. It's not fair. Jenna? Jenna, sweetie? This one was a good one, though. Kirk! Kirk! What is it? She's gone! Oh my god! Where did she go? Hey, <gasps> it'll, be, it'll be okay. She's, she'll be back. You'll see. No, no, she's no, just no. blowing off some steam. No. no, how would you know? Because she's my daughter. I did the same thing when I was her age. She'll be back. Trust me. Out there in the dark alone. She was right to hide. She don't know what they was gonna do. Shoot. You shouldn't be here. It is really dangerous for you to be out here all by yourself. I'm fine. Oh. Here, let me give you a hand up. There's a, there's a safer place up this way. Follow me. So what's your story? Why is a young girl like you out here all by herself? It's my mom. We had a fight. Must have been a big one. Yeah. But then again, all we do lately is fight. Families fight sometimes. Maybe. But it's like, my mom always has to go out of her way to prove that she doesn't care about me at all. She must care a little. You just don't get it. Girl, your story ain't original. I can promise you that. I've heard it all living out here on these streets. Come on, what'd she do? It's what she didn't do. She promised to buy me a new laptop if I got straight A's, which I did. So you're telling me you're out here all alone on these streets because your mother didn't buy you a computer? Sure, when you say it like that, it sounds nuts. But it, it's more than that one thing, though. It's like, every time I want anything, even things that I earn, she tells me no. I mean, I'm basically a grown-up now. I should be able to decide things for myself. There's something you should see. <laughs> this is where you live? You're welcome to stay. I know it's not much, but you're a lot safer here than out there by yourself. Thanks. What I want to show you is up here. Come on. I know you think you have it tough, but you're not the only teenager in our camp. Over there, we have Dylan. Dylan ran away from home because his father was a drunk who would physically abuse him. Poor thing is still having nightmares. JD over there lost his parents in a fire about a year ago. They put him in a foster home, but his new foster family was just using him to get money every week from the state. They turned the crawl space in the attic into his room and they would lock him in there for days at a time. Eventually, oh, ex he ended up running away and joined us about three months ago. And then there's Carly. 
for her, running away was a matter of life or death. You see, her parents were junkies, and she would go weeks at a time without eating anything at all because her parents would spend the money chasing their next fix. She eats more now living on the streets than she did living at home, if you can believe that. What I'm saying is that these kids have real problems. They ain't got no choice but to be out here on the streets. You do. My problems are real problems. Prove it to me. What? How? Prove it. Is this a nightmare? I mean, where is she? We've called everybody we've known. I'm sure she's okay. Honey, she just needs some time. What if she's not? What if she needs us? God, we should have just been honest with her and told her the truth. Honey, we talked about all this. I know. But if she would have just known that you lost your job and we can't even afford to pay for the mortgage, then she would have understood about the computer. It wouldn't do Jenna any good to have to worry about all of that on top of Sometimes it is okay for um, parents to be honest with their teenagers so teenagers can understand, like, look, it's not all about you. In the real life adult world, we have to pay bills. We have to keep up with this. We pay for your school, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't see anything wrong with, you know, letting your teens know, like, hey, like, you know, I got things I need to take care of first, the bills and stuff for us to be able to live and have a roof over our head before I just grab you know, expensive electronics. I'm so worried about her. It sounds like she cares an awful lot about you. I had no idea what they were going through. So go back home and apologize for making your mother so worried. I can't. It's too embarrassing. I feel like such a brat. Probably hate me now anyway. Trust me, they don't care about any of that. How would you know? Because I had a daughter. She was about your age when we got in this massive fight over a guy she wanted to date. And I did not approve. We said some nasty things to one another. She threatened to run away. So I told her to leave, but I didn't mean it. I just wanted to teach her a lesson. But she went. And then two nights later, she was killed by a drunk driver who just plowed into the parked car where she was sleeping. Wow. I'm so sorry. He was out there sleeping in her car and a drunk driver that hit her car, man. I never got a chance to apologize for the harsh words I said that night. And now I would give anything for one minute with my daughter to be able to hold her one more time, tell her I'm sorry and that I love her. And now I will never get that chance again. But you still can. After she was gone, I could not handle the grief. I checked out of everything. My job, my friends, my life. Next thing I knew, I was living on the street. And I've been here ever since. Don't make the mistake that I did. Don't push away the people that matter the most. We have such a limited time with them while we're on this world. <laughs> Take advantage of every single moment you have with them. Yeah, but listen to her. Thank you.
I didn't take my key. Oh my god. Dad. I'm so sorry for being a brat and for running away. Honey, I'm so happy you're home. God. And look, the truth is we, we just can't afford it. Oh, it's okay. I don't need the MacBook. All I need are you two. <laughs> Okay, come on. <laughs> I think I cried in the other one too, guys. I just, I just, I just can't hold back my tears sometimes, you know? They just come. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos and I'm out.